Theo is associated with what other things? Cephalate spots, because neurocutaneous syndromes and Theo have an association. Now comes a very, very important topic. Autoimmune polyglandular syndrome type 1, type 2. Kya hota hai? You have to be very sure. What are the components of it? Isko jara mnemonic bana ke, slide ko bookmark karke, you medical app mein rakh lo. And uh, ek do martabe doston ke saath revision karo. Jinna ki tamam yaad rakhega. So, Parathyroid, thyroid, pancreas, they are all affected in autoimmune polyglandular syndrome. Pahla, autoimmune polyglandular syndrome, kitne varieties hota hai, uske beech mein kya difference hai, favorite area of the examiner doctor, isko kaat lo, kaat ke, shat ke niche rakh ke, exam ko ja ke, copy karne wala topic hota hai, batti barne ka topic, but you have to. So, type 1, chronic candidiasis, chronic hypoparathyroidism presenting with hypocalcemia and autoimmune Edison's disease. Autoimmune Edison's disease. At least two things should be present in this. Type 2 may, what do you have? You have Edison, hypocortisolism patient is hypotensive, asthenic, hyperpigmented, oral candidiasis, hypocalcemia, because of that tetany. One case of polyglandular endocrine autoimmune syndrome, they clear to, I have only seen four cases in my entire uh, uh, past history. MD general medicine means you are too general. If you are endocrinologist, every day you will see. Right? But first case I can never forget. I could not diagnose. One of my, when I was in junior residency, one of my classmates, Sampar, Excellent clinician, Dr. Sampar. Now he is a gastroenterologist in America. Um, he said, Inko hypotension hai, bahut dark dikra hai, oral candidiasis hai, kuch diabetes hai kya dekhe, to diabetes nahi hai, in fact hypoglycemia hai. Are, he used to always think like Sherlock Holmes. Hypoglycemia hai, hypotension hai, pigmented hai, asthenic hai. Why hypoglycemia? I am expecting hypoglycemia. Oh, oh candidiasis. Ke. Candidiasis ke saath diabetes hona, hypoglycemia. Kyo ho raha hai? Kyo ho raha hai? Bolke. Suddenly bulb opened. We were all taking food in the hostel. He just got, I got the diagnosis of the case. Bolke. Bhaagte huye gaye. That was a post duty night. He immediately ordered for serum cortisol levels and it turned out to be Edison and uh, Combination of all this was proven to be polyglandular autoimmune syndrome and we presented it uh, in the CPC, Clinical Pathological Conference. So, doctor, post graduation is a joy. Joy in the sense, what all the stupid things you are reading now, you get an opportunity to discover them in the patients. To discover, you treat and the so-called aesthetic guy wakes up and starts running around. That is the day, doctor. Um, that is the day. Uh, is it okay? Broadcast is fine. Yes. That is the day, doctor. Um, uh, I'm not getting the broadcast. Okay. But otherwise, broadcast is there. Yeah, so that is the story of uh, autoimmune, one minute, can you type the password so that uh, it's okay. Right, so that is the story of APS. So. Type 2 may, you have autoimmune, that is Edison, autoimmune thyroid, type 1 diabetes, and, uh, but Edison should be there, must be there, before you call it as type 2, is what need to be remembered.
देन टाइप थ्री में यू हैव ऑटो इम्यून थाइरॉइड अदर ऑटो इम्यून बट नॉट एडिसन टाइप फोर मोर देन टू ऑटो इम्यून दट डू नॉट फॉल इन टू द टाइप वन टू और थ्री दैट बिकम्स दी टाइप फोर सो दीज आर ऑल द टाइप्स यू हू एम्फैटिकली रिमेंबर डॉक्टर so autoimmune polyglandular syndrome type 1 is also called ape ced autoimmune polyendocrinopathy autoimmune polyendocrinopathy candidiasis ectodermal dystrophy combination it is autosomal recessive primarily immune dysregulation is the underlying pathophysiology and uh, <clears throat> uh Bitaker's triad of clinical symptoms kya hota hai autoimmune polyglandular syndrome type 1 mein candidiasis hyperparathyroidism edison these three are called the bitaker's triad of symptoms which are diagnostic of the autoimmune polyglandular uh, syndrome is what need to be remembered then uh, these are all true about few except what it is not malignant only 10% are malignant few secretes epinephrine dopamine norepinephrine any of these things so that is all the story of the few chromocytoma doctor